Well, I think when Edison was going to market, he was thinking about business models and how he could address consumers in different ways. Now, here was a man who really had the grasp of what it meant to be at the leading edge. So he couldn't keep replicating the same thing each time he brought a new product to market. So he had to be creative in how he worked with businesses, how he worked with consumers. This is where the business model came in. So he worked with the laboratory concept, he worked with licensing, he worked with a standard sales force concept, but he also did partnering. This is not something we often think about Edison doing. When he was working with Radium, for example, he partnered with Madame Marie Curie to begin examining what could Radium be used for in a practical commercial context. And out of that partnership came the concept of the fluoroscope, uh, which is still used today in uh, the medical uh, and health area. So looking into the body, seeing the soft tissue of the body is something that Edison devised in the 1890s. So really extraordinary, almost like science fiction. Uh, and there are other things that Edison did from a business model perspective, allowing his employees to actually patent some of their ideas and their concepts and own their own intellectual property. That's a very unique idea, uh, coming from a laboratory of a man who was a genius and had over a thousand of his own patents. So very different ways of motivating his workforce, different ways of gaining the attention of consumers and businesses, really extraordinary in uh, the breadth of what he endeavored.